hey what is up guys and welcome back to my channel if you guys don't know me my name is Josh and welcome to the channel so it's Easter season and you guys know it's the best time for the channel make kites and we get a lot of views so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to like subscribe and anyways so this year I'm going to give you guys a lot of videos cover last year because I didn't do much last year so this year we get a lot of videos so you guys might yeah, guys get a lot of videos so I'll see you guys so anyways today's video is going to be how to frame a broom kite step by step so you all the folks must be wondering why you doing this video again well it's for the new people and we starting back fresh again we starting from the beginner to the advanced stage so stay tuned enjoy the video let's get started on how to frame a broom kite step by step so the materials we need to frame this kite will be scissors thread razor blade and four pieces of broom but you can use two but just for demonstration purpose I will be using four to show you guys and also the main thing a ruler to measure so when you frame a kite and make it it won't a lap over or anything so let's start framing so the first thing you want to do is grab two pieces of glue see which one looks the best because you don't want the uneven kind right, so these two look good so take my ruler now and measure it to about 28 centimeters right 28 cm just throw the address so you got our first two pieces there now we want to get the middle cross frame and use this room for it so this room will be good for cross frame so we measure that to around 26 inches well, let's go to 24. Yeah. 24 would be an ideal length. So we got our cross frame here. And let's throw it at our piece. And now, it's for the nose. You can make it so long you want. Doesn't matter. Now, let's start wrapping. So we got our trigger, guys. Let's start on reload. And what I like to do is I put it to set equal. So let's say this two side is fat. I take the fat side and put one up here. So it will give the kite a balance. So start wrapping there. And now we take our ruler and measure it here. See if we have equal sides. So that says 12. This says 60. So we have to push it on. You gotta get both sides to be right at start. Both sides got to be 40. It's 40, 40, and that's good there. I make our X. Start wrapping. And you don't want to make this too fat, you know. Get an ideal size. Get a piece on, 
I will put on the cross for you. Cross for this foot here. Now we put down our nose. Just make it to wrap, wrap around. Make sure it's tight enough. around the bottom portion and we'll give back one more set of wrapping and that finishes the wrapping part that should be good Now here's where the razor blade comes in. So now you want to take our blade and make small incisions at the four ends. Here, 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 and here. So the thread will sit in good. That's one. Now let's start lining the kite. We got the cut back again. Alright, it's in now. So now that's finished, we just wrap it in and we place a few knots on it. Here we can stick a little bit, cut that out. There we have, of course, part of it. Now we have to put down the nose of it, which we throw away those broom. We have to pick it back up now. So we got our broom here. You just want to find a thin piece, not too thin that it went to break. And just measure it right here. One into the next and break it. Now we take the blade and just make two incisions. Now we place it at one at each side. See, the nose is too high here, so we're gonna take it down. Just push it in here. That should be enough. And 
that to here. Just want to take a nail clip and all and just cut out the excess pieces. And, and now we just begin to wrap it with like scissors. Start wrapping the nose first. Finished here. Next, you want to take the nose a bit more. You don't want it exactly on this line here. You want to bring it on a bit, or else if you put it directly on the line, the guy is going to overlap when it goes up too high. So we got that there, and now we want to check these sides that put is straight. So you watch it cross ways and see. So yeah, it's straight. Now the final part are these two edges here. You could skip this if you want, but I don't skip it. I tie it. Because if you tie it now, it will be easier when you have to make the loop. the other side now. Alright, that's finished. And now we just want to cut out the top. Most people would leave this top on until they finish pacing the kite, so it'd be easier to hold. But I just cut it off right away. Throw it again, and we got a kite there. And the final thing we want to do now is to measure the kite, make sure everything is equal because that's the main thing. If this cross frame is not equal, the kite is going to lock. Let's measure C. So it's so a 12 and 12. Look at that. Correct as correct. I didn't even have to measure that. I just place it in right here and it's set. So that's it for the video guys. Hope you guys enjoy watching. This is the first video that we did doing. Frame a kite. So that's your finish broom kite there. And the next video will be papering this kite. So stay tuned for the next video. Stay safe guys. Take care.